Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today I'll be sharing my updated everyday makeup and how I draw realistic freckles. I've also partnered with Peripera to share my current favorite lip products, so if you want to get ready together, just keep watching. In I recently posted a freckle makeup look and a lot of people were asking what my recent updated everyday makeup routine is. So this is what we're gonna do today. I've been thinking of actually shaping down my brows a little bit more to make it even thinner, but I'm scared I'll regret it. This is the One Size Point Made Busty Brown Eyeliner. And then I'm just gonna do my eyeliner as usual. Next, I'm going to smudge out the edge with a dark brown eyeshadow. This is the Kaja Chocolate Dahlia Beauty Bento that I always use. I feel like other shadows don't smudge as well and they end up making the eyeliner still look too sharp. I've still been really into brown lashes, so I'm using brown mascara. Moving on to the base, let's of course apply sunscreen. We're gonna mix a little bit of foundation on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna take my Too Faced concealer. I'm just applying one swipe on my hand. So I would say this is like a two to one ratio. Oh, this looks like a bunny. <laughs> Let's mix those together. It should blend out like that, my perfect shade. And then we're gonna take that mixture and apply it to the areas that need the most coverage. So like where you would usually apply your concealer. We're gonna let that sit for a little bit and then take the rest of the foundation and then just apply wherever else you would want to apply your foundation normally. And then taking my sponge, I'm just gonna immediately blend out the foundation areas. After that, just immediately go into the concealer areas. It blends in so seamlessly and I love this because it creates like one layer of coverage instead of just foundation and then over that concealer. Let me show you a close up before I move on. So I'm just using a little bit of powder underneath my eyes and basically anywhere that usually creases. Next, let's contour. I'm using my Kevin Aquan sculpting powder. Any life updates guys? Like, what have you been up to? I've been doing my nails a lot more recently. I just did these yesterday. Cute, huh? There's a butterfly. I added a little mole here because I had a bump there. But next we're gonna be using the Peri Para Ink the Velvet in at number 17, Rosy Nude. I've been using Peri Para lip tints for years and I didn't know, but they're actually the number one best-selling lip stain on Amazon. It has this really unique, moussey, creamy texture. It's almost like buttery. Let me show you actually. So this is the Peri Peri Ink the Velvet in number 17 Rosy Nude and the matching lip liner it comes with. Number 17 is their most popular shade and also my personal favorite. It's the lip color I get asked about the most whenever I post a selfie wearing it. This lip liner is on the creamier side, so it's the perfect texture for blending to get that blurred lip look. I went ahead and concealed my lips so you can see the actual product color. And then I'm just gonna contour my lips. I love how creamy it is, so you can easily smudge it and blend it however you want. The lip tint is also very creamy and evens out dry lips and lip wrinkles. So I'm swatching it on like a wrinkly part of my hand. You can see when I blend it out, it has a soft matte smoothening effect. This can also be used as a cream blush, so I want it to show you the shade it blends into. It's like a soft berry pink shade. So what I'm doing is I'm blending a little droplet out on my hand and then I'm just gonna apply it directly to my face. It's such a perfect pink. I know you're not supposed to mix creams with powders, but I find when I apply it like this, it lasts way longer than a powder blush. It also doesn't move your foundation because it's more of a thick texture than it is like a liquid. If you like this shade, Peri Pear is actually having their biggest sale of the year right now. It's for Amazon's Prime Day sale, so you can get up to 40% off on Amazon. And with the sale, it's such a good deal. You can get this kit with the lip liner and lip tint 
for less than it would normally be to just get a lip tint by itself. So you basically get a free lip liner. I'll leave a link down below, but the sale does only last for one day, so be quick. Okay, let's go back to the eyes and I'm actually gonna curl my lower lashes. and apply mascara. Okay, next I wanted to show you guys how I've been doing my faux freckles since I promised on Instagram that I would. So this is Freck OG, the original freckle. And what I do to get the most realistic freckles is I take the freckle pen and then I stamp it on my finger, like just dotting it several times in random patterns. Stamp my fingers together and twist them and then apply some dots. It's pretty subtle right now, but let's just continue doing that and then it'll eventually add up. So the reason why I do this instead of dotting it directly onto my face is because recently I was dotting it on my face and then I was just blending it out with my fingers and I noticed that whatever was on my fingers looked more realistic than what was on my face because the dots were too uniform. So I started doing this and it does help it look more realistic. And the reason why I do this and twist it is because it creates more realistic looking dots. Like they're a little bit bigger. The product won't be wet when I apply it to my face. So it won't create like too sharp of a shape, you know, it'll be more like a blurred out circle, which is what freckles look like, so. You can see already there's some freckles. It looks very realistic. I think this product, when you apply it, when it's wet to your face, it looks too red toned. But if you do this like twisting method, it looks like the perfect brown. You want to randomly apply it across your face too, not just the center. But you can see it looks very natural, right? Next, I'm going to take my KBD Dazzle Stick in shade Hail Surge, and I'm using a very small brush to apply a little bit of nose highlight. And then in the inner corners too. And let's take a powder highlighter and just apply it right on top. And this is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching and thank you again to Peri Para for partnering with me on this video. Remember to check out their sale before the 13th. If you like this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Falling in love, da -da 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 -da. summer is for falling in love.